Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours. Now, we're going to pull from the Intuit Tarot, and then we're going to pull from the Hearts Hidden Secrets to see what comes out. So far, we have Unsure Energy, and um, let's see. Um, you guys, I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting on my videos. Um, do me a favor. Uh, the algorithm is crazy, so I'm going to need you guys to comment, subscribe, re unsubscribe to resubscribe because a lot of the people that I've been talking to, the subscriber, it, it's been unsubscribing them. So there you have it. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Yeah, so, okay, well, I put the card deck down, and at the bottom of the card deck is the Two of Cups energy. This keeps showing its face. This time it's a loving exchange. Last time it was an unhealthy attachment is what it was. And so now we have unsure energy. We have need and clarification, the King of Wands energy. We have the Ten of Swords. In the reverse, we have the Seven of Cups, and it's kind of unsure. And then we have the Four of Wands. This is a good reading. And we have the Deep Emotional Cleanse. The lunar eclipse, and it says timing about three months, subconscious revealed, new emotional cycles, seeing clearly, divine aid and endings. And then we have the justice energy, and it's like guilt or blame. So somebody um, is feeling some type of companionship when it comes to dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation. Sorry, I have my microphone moved. Hold on. All right. So, yeah, um, the thing is, is that. With this being said, it's many possibilities that could happen, but it says celebrated unions, and somebody went through a cleanse, and then because they felt guilty and blaming, but again, it's a mutual, it's mutual feelings now, and there's a new partner or an agreement uh, that's in sync or some type of companionship, but with the King of Wands being here, the King of Wands uh, in the upright um, is somebody that is able to see the big picture and under overcome challenges that they have, but in the reverse, it could be overbearing uh, or somebody that is impossible to deal with or have impossible expectations. So that's the reason why you're unsure about this King of Wands energy. And when it comes to um, an outcome with this, it says re regeneration of the Ten of Swords being in the reverse, regeneration of a relationship, making a comeback, reconcile, over it, repair, or moving on. You have to decide if you're ready to move on. And there's many possibilities. It says unclear... Uh, illusions, confusion, lack of fo lacking focus, um, and it says a wild imagination. So you're not sure if this will ever happen and if you are just kind of feeling guilty or if some type of karmic avoidance that you had to be a part of in order to get out of a situation. It's like um, you were being victimized or feeling some type of way. And so there was imbalance when it came to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. And so now here it is when it comes to the uh, hearts of hidden secrets. You have to see, ooh, yeah. Now, this came out of my last read, and it's a card on the floor. Yeah, the foundation card. It, both of these cards came out. You guys look at my last read uh, that I posted. Um, the foundation and the possibilities both came out, okay? Uh, so this is, uh, and in and, and the last reading, I'll just give you a little synopsis, they felt guilty about what it was that they said and that, they kept replaying it in their head. So look at that last read, and I can't remember what I called it, uh, but I'll, um, what was it called? Hold on, let me look on my phone. Yeah, that was just, I literally just finished that reading, and so I think that's so crazy that these two cards came out. You just see me shuffle this deck uh, several times before I pulled cards out of it. And so, hold on, let me see if I can find it. It's not going to let me find it that I'm, oh, here it is. Okay. So the last reading is called, doo -doo -doo -doo. hold on, my internet is going slow. Oh, they want to rekindle. That's what it's called. Uh, they want to rekindle. So the possibilities, the foundation, and they want a family. So this person, place, thing, or situation, they had regret and deep, uh, yeah. And so the regret came out in a different card. I think it was in one of these cards. No, it's right here, guilt and blame and the divine feminine. So this could be somebody with, um, you could be the divine feminine or 
the yin feminine energy, which is a nurturer, uh, Queen of Cups energy, right? Um, or it could be Queen of Pentacles energy um, or uh, somebody that will do anything for a person until they deplete their, their selves. But grief, they're upset because they lost you, you know, and that they realize the many pop possibilities that you could have had when it came to the situation. I'm going to pull from the, um, what is this? Twin flame soulmate and karmic relationship and cards fell out on the ground. These cards keep falling, but hold on. And I hope you guys didn't see my hair because it's been flat again. And all these cards keep following, falling. So we have rejection and wounds. We have surrendering. And then we have passing soulmate. It says someone's soulmate don't last forever. However, they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. So that's a decision that you have to make. This is a situation to where somebody can come and go in your life, but it has not necessarily leave this earth. But this is a lesson that needs to be taught in surrendering. Both of you are starting to give up on the need to control. It's not about giving up on the connection, but accepting that you can't run from destiny. And then rejection wounds. It says they have rejection fears or wounds that they that are so great they're not ready, willing, or able to face them right now. Reason, uh, excuse me, reason the union fails to flourish. Now, this is uh, Jaheem's song. Baby, I'm ready and willing and able, you know that song, to satisfy. Y'all know I can't sing, but anyway, the waiting game, you know, it's like well, who's going to make the decision? And, you know, again, this is a lesson that could have been learned and now it's coming back because the last reading was about rekindling. But again, they had um, situations to where they felt like what they did in the past was wrong. They knew they were wrong. And so it was like, I wish I could tell you what I felt. And then it was like, um, I wish you, you know, I, I keep replaying what I said or what was said in the past. So the waiting game says, how long will you continue to wait? If you find you're not receiving what you want from, the tw from your twin, it's time to practice self-love and walk away. And so that's what you did. And that was your nurturing energy, the yin energy of the feminine energy. And so even though it was a hard thing for you to do, you had to do it because, again, there weren't mutual feelings and you had to move forward. And so that is kind of how I see that energy. Um, and it's not an easy energy to deal with. Yes, yeah, spiritual. So at some point, somebody needed to um, have some type of spiritual healing, but they didn't. It says your spiritual journey is beginning so they're in the middle of their spiritual journey if they're not at the end of it and synchronicities the the, the the excuse me a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments and synchronicities so um and then emotions look deep within your emotions so that's what you have to do when it comes to this situation and kind of understand where they are and where they were so they feel some type of way but that doesn't mean that everything is meant to uh, or everybody is meant to be together. That just means that people have to learn the lesson, and it could be something that you had to learn and move forward and maybe not want to rekindle, or you want you might want to rekindle it, and that is kind of how this is the second part of that reading from the beginning. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull from uh, All Things Intuitive. I forget the name of this, but then I'll pull from In the Shadows as well. But, yeah, I just believe that, you know, this person has to realize, I want to be more than just friends. I left when I saw you with someone. So, hey, you could be moving on. But I want to be uh, more than just friends is what uh, comes out. And then, uh, so this could be your energy or theirs. And then from this card deck, the In the Shadows deck, um, let's see. You can't come with me. Yeah. And I was careless with you. So, again, that is something that you have to understand. This is the energy that they were in. And, you know, they were saying you can't come, but they realized that they were careless. So you have to be the one to decide what it is that you want to do. It has nothing to do with anybody but you and your emotions. And you had to go through this. And then we're going to pull from the Honest Love Tarot to see what does come out. Um, they made me do it. So they could be blaming past energies uh, that they never dealt with, the role models that they have. Look at the card. Another card falling down. Um Everyone has an opinion, and you deserve someone better than me. So that's why, because they were careless. But they say that you're their soulmate. And then bending reality. So they're willing to bend reality or to change the outcome of 
you know, just this being a, this lifetime. They want to see you this lifetime, not next lifetime. So they want to have something because they're realizing that you're their soulmate. And so that's the energy that you gave them to heal while you were away. So you have to be able to make a decision on if you want to take a risk with this situation or with this person, place, thing, and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck to learn about the chakras, and I'll put the video up above if you are interested in learning what, what the chakras mean to me. And also, um, I'm going to pull from the four agreements. Um, several cards came out, so you might have to look at all the chakras in there or listen to all the chakras to understand them if you don't know. But anyway, the cards are being weird today. Always do your best. You've done your best in this situation, and don't take anything personal. So whatever the situation is, whatever they say, whatever the outcome is, I remember the rekindling was about you speaking your mind. Because I'm watching Fifty Shades of Grey, this is the last, I think the third one, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, or whatever it's called, when um, she found out she was having a baby after they left and came back with each other. And he didn't think that he would be a good enough father, but she walked away from him at that point of me doing the reading about rekindling she walked away from him because he well not really permanently but he said that he you know didn't feel like he felt like he was going to just lose her and not just lose, not and when she had the baby or something like that so you have to speak your mind and know what it is that you want and you can't take things personally either you speak your peace and move forward with someone else or with yourself and become at peace with yourself or one with yourself or you've been reality and you rekindled the flame but you work on and what she always says to him is something called communication and learn how to communicate and say what it is that you want remember when she set her boundaries she was like hard no hard left and hard this but then towards the end of it she started to feel like maybe this could be something that she could be a part of and so only you have to be in the relationship nobody else does and so always do your best, love and nurture your body. Your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. So that's a part of it. You have to learn to love and respect yourself and sit with yourself before you can move forward with anybody. And that's the time that you have apart when it comes to what it is that you need out of life and from anybody else for that matter so take uh don't take anything personally see people as they are see them and as you do for what they are but you also know that you cannot make accommodations to people's pain and that's what we do as nurturers as uh empaths you know as the queen of cups energy um we see people's pain and we try to help them fix it and make it better and you know be there because somebody walked away from them or they felt some type of way they didn't have that established family so you made the exceptions and you bent your reality knowing that it would never go the way that you needed it to go but it says not never but you know never say never when you see other people as they are without taking it personally you can never be hurt by what they say or do even if others lie to you it's okay they are lying to you because they're afraid you will discover what they they're what they are not perfect. Excuse me, that you will discover you will discover that they are not perfect. So that's the whole cat and mouse game that they play with you and why, you know, normally, like I say, a King of Wands energy is somebody who sees the bigger picture and is okay with the challenges and overcoming them. But when you're dealing with somebody that when the King of Wands you're unsure about them, they're impulsive, overbearing, and impossible, have impossible expectations like Christian Grey, right? So, therefore, you see this person as they are, and you'll be okay with being in reality, but as long as you are setting your boundaries and being okay with certain things in certain situations, then you can go from there. So, let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak. Bad health and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.